Right. It's the 16th of March 2020. There's a lot going on all over the world at the moment. But I've decided to come out for a walk in my wood and I'm going over to Sand Bay for a walk round. Um, I've just walked from home so it's taken me about an hour actually so I had to go slow. Um, I'm going to stop at the shop in Stoke and get some water and chocolate. Decided not to, I can buy it there rather than carry it up the hill. I've just taken a few photos down there. Anyway, I've mentioned coronavirus a few times in other videos. But now it's getting heating up in Britain. With the lockdowns, um, shops, museums, workplaces, airports, stations and buses, all under extreme restrictions now in many ways. Not so much at the moment. We're doing what's called the delay tactic. Oh, um, rather than shutting everything immediately, and that's what they've done in some countries. I mean, in Spain, for example, Madrid and all those places are totally free of anybody. Walking about no cars, nothing, no transport. They've got blockades up. This coronavirus is causing panic. People are buying loads of toilet roll, for example. And now they're buying everything else. And I haven't been able to go shopping properly because I don't get paid until tomorrow. And I struggled to find toilet roll the other day. And I managed to go to this little Indian shop. And it was very thin toilet roll. Normally, you can, for that price, you can get, like, much bigger toilet rolls. But anyway, at least I got something. Um, but I've got, I'll be going out just doing my ordinary basic shop tomorrow. I don't have the money to go and stock up. Well, I have, but I'm not using it like that. I'll eat anything when it comes down to it anyway. If I have to have tea or no tea, I'll just drink water, you know. I mean, this is what would, well, I just have to do, really. But there's a lot of panic. They're now saying, very soon, everyone over 70 has got to be confined and isolated in their homes for four months. Now, this is ridiculous. Many, this is the bulge babies, the babe, the war babies. That most of them are quite fit. They were fed well. But they're saying everyone over 70 is at risk. Now, I think it's ridiculous, really, to be quite honest. I'm all right. I'm not 70. <sighs> Unless they're going to police this wood and stop people walking in here, which seems stupid to me because you need the oxygen, you need the trees, you need to be outside. I believe in the fresh air approach. Now, people get over 70 get confined. Say you're se just 70 or 71 and you've got a garden and you've got a good hobby at home that you can do. There ain't a problem for you, is there? <sighs> they even reckon it's going to be worse next winter than this one. Um, people are dying, they say, but there's no real... They just show the odd person that could have died anyway from flu. Flu kills people. People are dying from suicide, homelessness. I just think it's... They reckon it's a new virus, it's been created, and no one's got any immunity at all at the moment. Some people have, they've recovered from it. And they're building on a vaccine. So basically at the moment... But I was just saying, if say you're just 70, you're fit, but you haven't got a garden. And you haven't got a very nice view from your window. I don't think people should be stuck. They'll die quicker. Because your, your flat, your home will become an incubator. You know? And especially with people who've got the central heat and full blast. I mean, I do the blow through every... Every day, even in the winter, I have the windows wide open. Now, people aren't just buying toilet rolls anymore. They've paracetamol's going missing off the shelves. All sorts of med mixtures and medicines. Um, all sorts of things like hand wash, you know. Um, there's so much people are panic buying and some, they're hoarding. And they shouldn't be allowed to do it. That's what I'm saying. This is getting out of control. So when it comes to people like me who rely on two weeks to get paid, you can't go out and do a big bulk shop. 
when I go there tomorrow, is there going to be anything for me to buy? I mean, I can do without the cocoa. I like it in the winter. I can have a break from cocoa. I'll drink any sort of tea. Um, I've got tea bags at the moment. Oh, I've got a variety of herbal teas. I, I um, go around my different teas throughout the day. I've got chamomile, peppermint for night time. I like to have um, Earl Grey. I've got lemon and ginger I like. I find very refreshing. Um, I'm just hoping things like milk and bread won't disappear off the shelves, if you know what I mean. Um, yes, I do like my cereal. <sighs> and my yogurt. So anyway, that's just an introduction to today's walk. Um, most people probably want to get out walking. They think it's healthier to be out than in. And now I've got a risk going into Tesco's tomorrow, you see. I mean, I've been going on buses up until recently, but uh, I could have already had it because I had a really bad cough for nearly two weeks. Seems to have gone now. It was awful. I had a cough. I had um, palpitations. I didn't. Don't think I had a temperature. I need. I didn't do my temperature at the time. Um, I've taken it since it's normal. Normal for me. I did have a very, very mild sore throat. Not a really bad one. Like you, when you get a cold, you know when your throat's sore, you've got something. This was a, fit, a mild one. So I don't want to think, oh God, you ever think every ache and pain, oh, you've got this and that, you know. So, uh, this is an introductory video. It's a record in time, by the way. On the 16th of March, 2020. I'm up here, I do a video every week. Not long ago, I just did a load of videos at the fort area where they're knocking the trees down. Um, if they had their way, they'd knock the whole lot down. Um, so I'm going to turn off now. It's a nice little scene which just developed since last time I was here. Oh, a nice little scene there. Every now, I'll take a picture of it. Right. Yeah, it was only a couple of days ago I was up here. So was other people taking images of the fort area, the main fort area, and all the tree damage. And there's a lot of people now becoming aware, and a lot of people are not happy with um, their arrogance because that's what's coming across. They've got their opinion and you haven't, and none of your facts are right. Fortunately, a few people stuck up for some of my comments when I was putting my photos on. A lot, well, quite a few people saying that we've all got a right of opinion. And if the facts aren't well known, but so I'd like they should have been put out more information, not in the small print. They what they've done, they've they accelerated the cutting down of some of the trees. Big time. I know what, they want to clear it, they want to build up here. They're just using the fort as an excuse, because we all know in London people build on top of archaeology. And they always say, well, it's okay, so they do it in London and we'll build on top of it. It'll still be there. Yeah, there's something in it. Someone's got their finger in a little pie somewhere. And they're going to rip everyone off and turn this. There'll be roads up here, houses all down here. I can see it already. And it won't be the people benefit, but the rich. And the floggers of property. This is our only bit of green we've got here, to tell the truth. And it's like someone pointed out, you strip all the trees down, the soil will go. Even if you put a bit of grass down. There'll be no leaves, there's nutrients for the, so for the soil, what remains. Nothing will hold. The water will just run down and flood western even more. Tell the truth, the trees do absorb a lot of water. 
and it'll become more windier. The trees do act as windbreaks. Um, it'll be more exposed, it'll be rougher. The, you know, I mean, there's lots that you could look at. With, rather than these people just hiring anyone to come along and do a bit of raking and cutting without thinking what actually it would be like with this all bare. We've got a few people in positions, power and control, go to the bloody head. Like I say, me would walk is where I do a lot of the domestic reflections, I call it now. I'd hate to see this wood disappear. I hate that. I go over Sand Bay for the barrenness. It's nice to have a variety. And what they're going to do? Expose the stones, then what? We all know they're there. Yeah, I can just see this. All the mud would just pour off the hills. And it would cost money. It would do damage. A small group of people have had this idea with money involved. They know there's a payback. They ain't doing it, getting these ideas for nothing. Anyway, folks, this is a lovely day and I'm out walking. Not moaning. It's not moaning. It's informing. It's different. Right, over now and you take some pictures.